Paul fell. All right, welcome back. <laughs> well, I'm climbing back up because that, I can. Oh, see we're not. We're there. not starting it over. No, this is the <laughs> beginning of episode two. Paul fell. I'm gonna title the that video. That actually looks kind of cool. Yeah. A little hole in the ground. Yeah. All right. So where am I going? This towards the glowy bit. You know how to use like the rotary mini maps, right? Yep. 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 Here we go. I love the stamina. Having you, stamina. Ooh. You are not going towards the glowy bit. Okay, all right. You, you do you. I'm not jumping off of that. I see. I don't know. If do you, I take fall damage? So if you sneak around and climb up the other thing there, see that boulder? Aha. You can push that down towards the camera currently, and mm -hmm. uh, that'll allow you to get some bokoblin killing in. Okay. Or you could climb the stairs. I guess you don't have to climb. There you go. Good boy. Doing the shit the right way. So we'll. Yeah, see? You're on it. Hell yeah. Uh huh. Now, do I take fall damage? That's why I kind of didn't. You do take fall damage. So you, yeah. you do want to be cautious. Um, but yeah. Uh, you can take everything that they had plus what they're cooking because you'll need food later on. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you don't need food in the. Uh, oh, if I don't eat, I'll die sense. You need it to recover health. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you'll see there that's a heart and a half of, uh... Oh, okay, cool, cool. Which Makes feels sense. like not a lot, given that you've just picked up three times your body weight and fucking cooked food. Yeah, but, and the fact now that I have how many weapons? Oh, uh, actually, uh, equip one of those tree branches there. I'll show you something. I'll equip while. the broken, halfway broken one. Good. Um, if I break it, I break it. Yeah. Uh, stick that fucker in the fire and light that barrel. <laughs> Okay. This is this is more about like life skills for you. So you can there you go and now go swing it at that barrel. It takes a couple whacks. Uh, well, you can also just push the barrel into the fire, but you're I threw it at the fire and it didn't land, so I was fail. Okay, it'll catch. That's why it's smoking. There you go. And, uh, so eventually the fire is going to pop it. And, uh, or does it burn forever because of the metal band? I don't remember. There you go. If there had been anything in the barrel, you would have gotten it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can just burn them when I need stuff out of them instead of trying to break them if I can't break them. It, yeah. Okay, cool. Good to know. Life lessons. You can catch those butterflies if you're sneaky and or beaky. How do I catch a butterfly? There you go. Hell yeah, summer wing butterfly. A butterfly found in the woods and plains of warm regions. Its wings absorb the warmth of the sun. Cook it with monster pots to create an elixir that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. I don't know why and I, I just shoved it in my pocket. Of course. <laughs> Sounds like a really useful... Uh... Dude, you've got like a fucking tree branch, three of those goddamn uh, bats in there. You, you've got all sorts of shit. The wonder pockets. Yes. You could avoid them, but you're going to go start shit. Yes, I am. You're a good guy. <laughs> I think these are your first ranged enemies, so you uh, didn't beat them to it. There you go. You about to get shot with an arrow, boy. <laughs> nope. 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 There you go. I figured if I did a power attack, I'd knock the weapon out. Yeah. Not always, strictly speaking, necessary, but yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, there you go. Now, before you uh, go and melee that guy with the shield, if you equip your bow, which you can yeah, do with yeah. uh, the right button, there you yep. go. Yeah. You can get some of those arrows they fired. I know there's a couple more over here. Yeah, they... down this this way towards me. There you go, and then off 
the left. You see the sparkles? Oh, there's also stuff here, too. Yeah, exactly. But you can see the sparkles where they're sticking out on the doobly-doo. There you go. So, uh, you've already got 14 arrows. There's another two behind you if you feel like getting them. Arrows are uh, not recoverable if they hit your target. There's one. And the other is right there behind you. If I see it. Ooh, actually, there's a third. Hot damn. They shot a lot of shit at me. Legitimately, this early into the game, that's a good number of arrows. All right, now... You would hold down the button, or the R2 trigger, mm -hmm. and not release. But in order to aim, you can uh, rough aim with your uh, analog, and you can fine aim with the motion controls. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so fucking cool. <laughs> Okay, that's going to take a lot to get used to yeah. the motion controls. You can toggle it off if uh, you think it's going to be an issue. He is spotting you currently. He has spotted you. <laughs> ah. You know, get me. I'm going to run. I'm just sort of just for a moment to here. see how this plays out. I need um, a weapon that I don't have. Uh, hold down right on the... There you go. Oh, it pauses. Okay, I was like... I'm used to running around and not being able... That I actually... Ooh, oh, ooh. You little bastard. <laughs> no. By the way, uh, the other trigger, L2, will lock you onto your target. Ah, good to know. A little helpful probably could have mentioned that. Sooner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm all in favor of letting you make your own mistakes. Ooh, more arrows. Jesus Christ, you only fired one. Whatever. Well, because I just dropped, made him drop his weapon. Mm -hmm. He had arrows on him. I should have opened the combos before we were recording because this is a really noisy oh, bag yeah it yeah you still have half of the episode left but yeah yeah but i'm like watching it on the audio capture oh i know <sighs> sorry pups just deal with me we'll get through you'll the... survive for a half a minute oh you're you're it's in the thing you want the in. there's like a little cave that you're on top of okay so i was just seeing if there's anything there no in fact, there won't exist shortly. Really? Mm-hmm. Alright, now this is tricky because you gotta undock the switch. I'm fucking with you. I was say, don't fuck with me like that. <laughs> God damn. Like, no! <laughs> it seems like something Nintendo would make you do. Yes. So that's just, it's just plausible enough to be like, oh, next generation gaming is scary. All right, Chica Tower activated. Please watch out for falling rocks. Get, oh no! Yeah, get ready for some quick time bullshit. I'm fucking with you again. You you don't have to worry about this. And just so y'all know, that sound of camera that you just heard is me sending a photo to a friend of mine, asking me what the hell I was doing. Although I think your photo is literally of, like, some rocks. Yeah. She'll know that I'm playing video games. That's all that matters. Okay. Fun is her reply. <laughs> what the hell is it? Like the magical growing penis of rock? Man? Um. So... You ever played an open world Ubisoft game? No. Okay. I don't think so. Had you ever played uh, Assassin's Creed or any of the Tom oh, yeah. Clancy games or anything like that? I played Tom Clancy and Assassins. Okay. So, what do we know about towers from those games? They're a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> yes. They usually each present their own little micro challenge, mm -hmm. and you have to get on top of them in order to map out the region. <laughs> However, in this, the map it gives you is super duper primitive. So for example, all you get is a fucking map. 
no icons, no information about temples, nothing. So, and then of course my sword that's just randomly placed in the map. Yeah, we can fix that later. Yes. So that is all I learn is the look of what everything, mm -hmm. an, oh, a top-down view of, hey, this is what you've got, good luck. Yes. But it gives you a vantage point. For the past oh. years. This is some story. Since you've never played this, I guess I'll shut up and let you do the... The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Okay, so jump off the tower. Got it. Before it's too late. I don't want to like ruin the tension of the game, but you have all the fucking time on Earth. <laughs> yeah, I kind of right. figured that. She's... That's how all these things work. Yeah, it's like, hurry! I'm gonna die if you don't. Mm-hmm. There's no timer anywhere. I'm good. You can legit. I shit you not. With mad skills, you can legit. Um, go from like where we're at now well sorry as soon as you get the paraglider so you can leave the uh, grand plateau um you can go from here straight to that castle and uh beat the game you won't get the good ending oh really that's as quick as the game could possibly be though yes wow. and there are people who do it it's like look i completed the game good job um you didn't 100 percent it i don't care i beat it Oh, sorry, this is my cue that I'm about to have to do shit. Old man! Good job. I love his theme. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others, just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another, like several erect sky penises. It's almost as though a long, dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking... How did you discover the planet's new kink? Was it on Pornhub or Funny Junk? <laughs> did, did anything weird occur? I'm fine. You do need not conceal the truth from me. Truth be told, I saw the whole thing from afar. You are a peeping Tom as well, which looks creepy I as fuck. I have that nothing hook. else to do. <laughs> I, although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you heard something coming from the direction of the castle. I think I've changed the voice of the old man like nine times now. Yes, just a little, but it's entertaining. Hit the head on the nail, did I? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. That's Link's voice now. Well, that is unfortunate. Hmm. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle? Let's look at it again, just in case. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity, which really just looks like, you know, standard Los Angeles pollution, um, <laughs> brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. <laughs> Love how we just throw into, you know, the random nowadays bullshit into the kingdom of Hyrule. <laughs> have you been to L.A.? And, like, if no, you're I there when not. the sun is setting, this is about right. <laughs> It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. I I'm being unfair. Ellie's gotten a lot better since they're doing their carbon tax and all yeah. this other. Yeah. Any which way. Um. Give me a moment, please. I'm, I'm chewing fucking snack crackers because I'm a dumbass and forgot what I was. Putting Good on job, the show. old man. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I was doing that thing where it sort of clings to the side of your fucking. Damn it. Ugh. Bear with me. It's not like a princess is dying in there or anything. Jesus Christ, you got time. <laughs> All right. We up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has been. Or wait, I don't know where I got the word "been" from. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a moment. I gotta read this line again. 
For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. Mostly because it can't find the exit sign since the power went out. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Not too fast. Just slightly feel some pressure. I must ask you, courageous one, since we have all this time to make small talk, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Because if not, I mean, we're doomed. I don't want to put too much pressure on you. Ah, <sighs> You needn't say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. Or constipation. I can't really tell. You're a hard one to read. You should honestly say some shit. No. No! <laughs> Here, <laughs> on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try and jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. And we've guaranteed that by setting a kill trigger, so even if you do speedrun glitch your way down, it will kill you. <laughs> of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be another story. Paraglider? Hand it over! Oh, oh, oh. oh, certainly. Why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Except for, of course, the axe you took from me and the baked apple, and you could have taken the torch behind me, but you so didn't So what do you it. want, a hand job, or...? You know, I... <laughs> I, I wasn't going to ask, but <laughs> uh, if it's on the table, how, how about I trade this for a bit of uh, treasure that slumbers nearby, if you uh, if you get what I'm saying. We have to continuously go to like Game Grumps level on this one, because it, it, it follows perfectly Old Man and Link talking. <laughs> <sighs> I'm really glad you paused, because I just realized that we had yes, a 17 minute mark. I know. Oh, well, you didn't fucking say anything. Well, I didn't want to stop the middle of that s lovely story that <clears> the <throat> old oh. man was telling me. Let's see. See, if you're going to go into the old man thing, <laughs> why no. didn't you do it? <laughs> see, I tried to do it, and I come off as more of a... Uh, Next up on WABB is the top 40 hit from uh, Kelly Clarkson. It's called See Tomorrow, and this gag is not...